forceps, sister? Forceps. Retractor. Retractor. How's it going, Dick? No, it's fine, Mike. Fine. Swab. Swab. More swabs. Lots more swabs. Look, I'm in charge of this operation. You're supposed to be assisting me, really. You should be grateful I'm here at all. I'm not on the Dean's firm, you know. It's very generous of Loftus to lend me out. Yeah, well, how am I doing? You've only got two minutes left. Oh, my God, this is serious. Yes. The appendicitis record is seven minutes. You've had five already. What does the stopwatch say? I haven't got it. Why not? I put it in the steriliser. It went rusty. <laughs> well, I might still make it. What do you mean, you might still make it? You haven't even found the appendix yet. Yes. <laughs> There it is. Oops. No, no, it isn't. Oh, why not give it up, Mike? Relax, dig in and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Are you eating in the hospital tonight? Oh, on a Tuesday, you're joking. Why? What's on? Grilled liver. <laughs> I like liver. No, oh, it's always the same on a Tuesday. Liver or kidneys. Mm. Makes you wonder where it all comes from. <laughs> Shut up. What are you doing tonight, then? I'm going back to my room to do some work. Oh, yeah? What's her name? Doreen Willett. What? You know Nurse Willett. Everybody knows Nurse Willett. She's very nice. You must be desperate. She's very nice. Yes, I am. <laughs> pay attention to the operation, Nurse. Perhaps we could all pay attention in my operating theatre. Sorry, sister. Paul, you don't want to put up with Nurse Willett. What about the new nurses? Some of them are lovely. Don't think I haven't tried. It's hopeless. Every time I get to check one up, I get an emergency call on me bleep. And when I get back, some other blight has nabbed her. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Why, do you prefer me to Nurse Willard? <laughs> Don't be funny. Actually, I've got a date with one of the new nurses. Who? A very nice girl. Oh, another sleepless night, eh? No, 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 no. nothing like that. It's not like that. She's a very nice girl. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> well, what's her name? Rosemary Hobbs. Rosemary Hobbs? That's the one I was chatting up in the refectory yesterday when I was bleeped. The one with the big bazookas. <laughs> Don't talk about her like that. Anyway, she's not right for you, Paul. She's a nice girl. But, yes, you're right as it happens. She's not right for me. And she's not right for you either. Do you know who she is? Matron's sister. Matron's sister? Yep. How can Matron Jones be Rosemary Hobbs' sister? Uh, half-sister. Honest? Dib, dib, dib. Oh, thank you, nurse. Where are you uh, meeting her? At the notice board. Uh, at least I was. I'm not taking any chances with matron. Well, I wouldn't, sir. By the way, you have broken a record. The longest appendicectomy ever. Dr Upton, I have no wish to interrupt your important discussion. But it seems to have escaped your notice that the patient is waking up. <laughs> oh, my God! Dick! Dick! <laughs> Mm. Oh! Uh, uh. If the patient can stay awake during the operation, surely you can. <laughs> oh, hell, uh, yes. Uh. Well, girls, another appendix bites the dust, eh? It was way outside the record, Dr Collier. Nurse, we are here to perform surgery, not to break idiotic hospital records. How much did you lose? Five shillings. Oh, you should worry, I lost five pounds. <laughs> oh, well, good night, girls. Got a rush. Good night, Dr Collier. Give our love to Nurse Willett. Well, anyone can make a mistake, Mike. It's bloody boring just sitting there watching you two prodding away like a pair of penguins. You would have to fall asleep in my operation, wouldn't you? Sister Fowles is bound to tell the Dean. No, she won't do that. Oh, come off it, Dick. She's bound my to. My dear Michael, I know too much. Eh? You seem to forget that my student life here was three times as long as anyone else's. When I was in my first year, of course I was a Greek god in those days. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Sister Fowles is a mere staff nurse and a right little rib as she was too. Sister Fowles? Well, all sisters were nurses once, you know. All nurses are potential ravers. You did not you. No names, no pack drill. The point is, no one will ever know I fell asleep in there. As far as anyone else is concerned, it's just a routine hernia operation. Dick, that was an appendicectomy. <laughs> going about in a strange way. <laughs> How well? You live and learn. You may live and learn. Not many patients will. Well, anyone can make a mistake. <laughs> By the way, where's Paul? I felt sure I saw him in the theatre. Or did I dream it? He's got a date. Oh, oh yes, I promised to stay out of our room tonight. One of the new Grimsies. <laughs> no, it's Doreen. Who? 
You know, Doreen Willett. Yeah. Everybody knows Doreen Willett. <laughs> That's just what I said. We must be desperate. That's just what I said. I mean, there are nurses and nurses, and Doreen Willett doesn't fall into either category. Right. <laughs> Come on, let's go and have a drink. Yeah, I thought you had a date tonight. Well, I did, actually, but, you know, Paul did me a very good turn. Oh, yeah? Do you know who she was? Yeah, the one with the big bazookas. <laughs> she was Matron's sister. She was what? Well, half-sister. Paul told you that, did he? Yeah. You twerp. What? You fell for that one, the oldest trick in the book. You don't think he was lying, do you? Well, why would he tell me a lie like that? Because he's Randy, that's why. <laughs> Where do you think he is now? In your room? Yes, at the big bazookas. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm murdering. Come on. Hey, hey, Mike. Yes? Better take your frock off first. <laughs> Another drink, Rosemary. Oh, do you think I should? Definitely. Uh, what was it? Uh, gin? Yes. Have a whiskey for a change. Oh, all right. Soda? Yes, please. <laughs> it's funny about Michael Upton, isn't it? Tragic. I'm so glad you warned me about him. Well, I think we doctors ought to keep an eye on you young girls. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he looks so innocent. Oh, whoever would have thought that they'd allow a sex maniac like that to become a doctor? It's criminal, isn't it? Who's that? I don't know. Could it be him? Yes, it could. Shh. Are you there? Oh, that's all right. No, it's not. Be quiet. So there you are. Oh, uh, Doreen. Uh, Doreen Willett, this is uh, Rosemary Where have Hop you been? I've been waiting for hours. Well, for me? Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Well, I thought we'd arranged to meet here. Here? With her? What is it, an orgy? Orgy? No, 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 don't be ridiculous. <laughs> there she is. Ah! He's a sex maniac! It is an orgy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Don't but... touch me! But, Rosemary, Dodo! Dodo? That's his pet name for me. But a dodo's an extinct bird. Yes, I see what you mean. I didn't come here to be insulted. We all know what you came here for. Oh, come on, Rosemary. You don't want to stay here with these doctors. Oh, Rosemary, did... Oh, by the way, mm -hmm. I hear that you fell asleep in the operating theatre this afternoon. It's all round the hospital. But anyone can make a mistake. Well, at least I don't fall asleep when I'm on the job. <laughs> what did Rosemary mean? He's a sex maniac. Just a joke. And why did you lie to me about Rosemary being matron's sister? I only said half-sister. You're disgusting. I dread to think what you'd have done to that innocent young girl. Rosemary, you'd have done the same. No, I wouldn't. I could have had a real relationship with her. What do you mean, relationship? She's a nice girl. Yeah, she's a girl, that's all that matters. A, a nurse, a grimsy, crumpet, muffin, lovely. <laughs> You know what I mean. No, I haven't a clue, actually. I mean, I don't think Paul should have tricked you, but we're all after the same thing in the end. You've got such a Victorian attitude towards girls, Mike. I mean, this is the era of free love, the permissive society. Yeah, yeah. You're not exactly romantic, are you? No, grab not, get not. That's my motto. <laughs> Look, I'm as keen as anybody, but these new nurses are innocent young girls, some of them coming straight from school to London. Lovely. I mean, <laughs> how would you feel if it was your... your... your mother? My mother? <laughs> Well, your sister, then. My kid's sister? I've never thought about it. That's not the point. That is precisely the point. We're not students now, Paul. We're doctors. We should have proper considerations for the feelings of others. Mike, when are you going to realise that girls enjoy sex too, and if they want it, they should have it? Especially from me. <laughs> Morning. You're going to be late. You're right. Paul. Yeah? I've been thinking about last night. Oh, give over, Mike. Just leave off. I mean... You've got your views about girls and I've got mine. Let's leave it at that, shall we? Well, no, what I wanted to say is... Paul Collier, there's a phone call for you. Well, I can't possibly take it now. I'm late for the operating theatre. Oh, dear, it's a girl with a rather sexy voice. <laughs> Dick! Hmm? Dick, I I've been thinking about last night... And um... another lecture on nice girls. No, no, nothing like that. No, what I wanted to say is... I think maybe you and Paul have got the right idea. Hello? Susan, what a super surprise. How's things? Great, great. Well, where are you? Here? Marvellous. Just for the day? What do you mean, four months? Well, why didn't you tell me? 
What do you mean you thought I'd be pleased? Yeah, yeah, I suppose I am pleased, but... What? No, I can't come and see you now. I'm late for work. Yes, I'll come and see you later today. Yes, I promise. I do not sound upset. <laughs> so, I I've come to the conclusion that I was probably just being a bit old-fashioned. I mean, after all, they're not children, are they? Quite. Good news, Paul? <laughs> Bad news? Huh. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh... Mike, I was thinking about last night. You as well? Oh, God. No, no, what I wanted to say is, uh, I think you have the right idea, Mike. One should consider other girls' feelings. I mean, I mean, these young girls, innocent young things, away from home for the first time. Some of them coming straight from school to London. Oh, we're not students now, we're doctors after all. And we should consider other people's feelings, especially nurses. Are you feeling all right, Paul? <laughs> I thought you said this was the era of the permissive society. I've changed my mind. Well, so have I. What? Well, I, I think they should have it. I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with it. I think you were right. No, no, you were right. No, you were right. I insist you were right and I was wrong. I wish you two would make up your mind. Well, I've made up my mind. It's only way I can compete with you two. No, 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 listen to From me. From now on, those new nurses had better watch out. <laughs> Yes, miss. Uh, can you tell me the way to the nurses' hostel, please? Yes, dear. You one of the new nurses? Well, I'm going to be a student nurse. Well, now let's see the hospital. Now you go out the main door, turn left, and oh, uh, doctor, excuse me, sir. Are you going past the nurses' hostel? Yes. <laughs> Would you show this young lady the way? I'd be delighted. Uh, this way. Let, let me take your case. Thanks. Oh, uh, sorry, miss. I, I forgot. <laughs> Would you uh, sign the book, please, here? But it is a jolly hard work being a surgeon. Oh, you're in surgery. What a coincidence, Doctor, because my bro. Oh, don't call me Doctor. I'm Michael. Thank you. I'm Susan. Welcome to St. Swithin's, Susan. This must be it. Oh, it's not bad. Better than I expected. Yes, they're quite handy little rooms. Oh, thanks for carrying my case, Michael. There was no need for you to go out of your way. Oh, not at all. It's my pleasure. We must make our new nurses welcome. I, I hope you'll feel at home. Yes. This is my first time away from home. Quite. Look, I know what a bit of an ordeal it um, must be arriving here and not knowing anyone. Oh, well, actually, I have... So I was wondering if you'd like to have a meal with me this evening. Oh, well, I don't think I should I don't know be. what you've heard about doctors, but... Oh, no, it's not that, as a matter of fact. Good. I... Well, let's settle then. Oh, no, all right? no, you don't understand. I'm Look, suppose... I, I shouldn't be here at all. I I've got to go. But really, I... Meet me at the Porter's Lodge, quarter to seven, OK? <laughs> OK, thanks. Great. Must rush. See you soon. Bye. Uh, do you know my brother... The patient's ready. Why aren't you? Because I've been scrubbing up for the last 20 minutes, that's why. Well, you only have to do four minutes. I do know that, thank you. Mm. One of the nurses touched me. <laughs> what a dirty mind you've got. I didn't say anything. There, good. Finished. Look how red and sore my hands are. So they are, yes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what is this one, anyway? It's a lipoma. Jolly good. Have it done in no time. It's better. I've got a break. Have you? So have I. What's yours like? Really dishy new student nurse. Smashing. Yes, so's mine. Lovely looking nymphette. She's just arrived today, actually. I'm taking her out when I finish here. Couple of drinks, then round to my room, then way! <laughs> Yeah, she might be a new nurse, but she knows what it's all about. And if she doesn't, she soon will. Right. Uh, what's her name? Uh, I don't know. Not that that matters, eh? Uh, it matters very much, as a matter of fact. Why? Because, well, this is a bit awkward, but uh, she might be my sister. Oh, come off it, Paul. Pull the other one. 
No, no, seriously, one of the new nurses is my sister. Yeah, well, I suppose Matron's your mother. <laughs> Listen, I'm serious. Paul, you've tried that one. There are plenty of girls. Don't be so greedy. You're disgusting. That's what you are, disgusting. Oh, shut up. I'm warning you, don't touch my sister. <laughs> Dr. Paul! Oh. Have we done? You must be very frustrated. Now, Susan, what the hell is... Oh, hello, Paul. You made me jump. Yeah, hello. Now, Sue, what the hell is going on? What do you mean? Why didn't you tell me you were going to be a nurse? Well, I didn't decide till a few weeks ago. But I thought you were going to be a show jumper. Oh, Paul, that was four years ago. I haven't even got a horse. Don't quibble. Anyway, why didn't you tell me you were coming here? Well, I thought it would be a nice surprise. Obviously, I was wrong. No, no. Of course, I'm happy to see you, but... But what? But... Susan, I must have a few words with you. OK, well, do you mind if I carry on getting ready? Sue, do you remember when we were little and we used to play doctors and nurses? <laughs> well, it isn't quite like that in real life. What? You see, when babies are born, they're not born in, in quite the way we thought they were born when we played doctors and nurses. And mummies and daddies. Quite. Oh, Paul, are you trying to tell me to take precautions? No! Yes! No! Don't! That's what I mean, don't! Stop shouting! Well, you don't realise that some doctors here think that nurses are here for one thing only, and that's not nursing. Look, I'm sorry to rush you, but I'm in a hurry! Sue, you don't realise that I'm responsible for you. You're my kid's sister. <laughs> you were my kid's sister. Oh, I'm 18 years old. I'm going to be a nurse. I know the facts of life. Am I making myself clear? So you don't realise that some doctors are sex maniacs? Not the ones I've met. No, you haven't met the ones here. Yes, I have. I'm going out with one now, since I've got rid of you. Yeah, you know, I'm going in just a moment. What? <laughs> well, you've been so thoroughly unwelcoming since I got here, I thought I'd go out with somebody else tonight. Who is it? Mind your own business. It's Stuart Clark, isn't it? Stuart who? Don't be funny with me, Susan. It's Dick bloody Stuart hyphen Clark, isn't it? <laughs> I demand to know who it is. Oh, Paul, you're being boring. But you're my kid's sister. Push off. <laughs> right. Building, uh, that's a little extra cement, um, here and, uh, there. Cement? Uh, mortar, you know, uh, bricks and, uh, mortar. I didn't know you were interested in architecture. Oh, yes, yes, indeed, uh, yes, uh, got to look after the old place. St. Swithin's, you know. Yes, I know. Fine old building. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Could you tell me the way to the porter's lodge? Oh, your new way? Look, I've got a couple of minutes to spare. Maybe I could show you the way. Thank you. <laughs> Mike, thank God you're still here. I'm always the last. Dick Scarpet, he's got a date. Mike, something terrible's happened. What? Dick's got a date. I just told you that. Look, what is the matter with you today, Paul? Dick's gone off with my sister. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop making up stories about your sister. But he really has gone off with my sister. Well, how could he possibly know your sister? I told you this afternoon. She's one of the new nurses. Hey, We thought you were making that up. No, no, she arrived here today. Well, that's nice. It is not nice. She lied to me. Oh, runs in the family, does it? <laughs> Mike, we've got to stop him. I don't see why. Mike, please. 
Look, she won't do anything she doesn't want to. Yeah, she might. She's with Dick Stewart Clark. That's true. Well, I'm sorry. I've got a date myself. Mike, that is not just another nurse in there. That is my kid's sister. Really? Honest. So Dick knew all the time? Of course he did. You know, that is really low. <laughs> the swine. Right. Leave it to me, Paul. I'll get her out of there. I'll just go and change and uh, tell my dick to hang on for a few minutes. Thanks, Mike. You're a real pal. Hello. Look, I I'm terribly sorry, but I'm going to be a bit late. Only a friend has asked me to do a very important favour and, and I can't let him down. Well, what's the problem? Oh, it's nothing for you to worry about. Well, shall I come with you? Uh, no, no, you, you won't be able to help. I won't be a minute, I'll see. You look lovely. You're just not bothered, are you? I'm very bothered. Get out. Do you know this guy? No, I'm doing my best, but you're not helping. You, you incestuous beast. What are you? What? Uh, Mike. No, let me handle this, Paul. No, Mike, this is rather embarrassing. Of course it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for all of us. All's fair in love and war, Dick, but one does not seduce one's friend's sister. You haven't got a sister. Not my sister, Paul's sister. Mike, can I say something? No, you'll say something you'll regret. <laughs> You skunk! You regret that, Upton! And you can't stand there and tell me you didn't know she was his sister because you told us this afternoon. But I'm not his sister! Of course you are! You try and tell me Paul doesn't know his own sister? Mike, I do. Of course you do! But I've never seen him before in my life! No! <laughs> she always like that. I've no idea. But she's your sister. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I made a mistake. Well, anybody can make a mistake, can't they, Dick? Gertrude! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike, I really am. Leave me alone. I just don't understand it. You don't understand it. You're a pathological liar and you seem to resent anybody else having a date. I'll probably find mine's ditched me now, too. Oh, I hope not, Mike. Hello, Michael. Hello, Susan. I'm sorry I'm late. Bye, Paul. I'm done! Check your hands off my sister! <laughs> I don't believe it! That's my sister you're handling. Paul, I think you really must be sick. I'm warning you, stop pestering my sister. <laughs> Susan, are you this man's sister? I've never seen him before in my life. <laughs>